Northwest, at least in Portland, we have rain still going on. So that is very exciting. If you're not up this way, it's because uh, it's fires. So we're very excited for rain. So today you just want a set of dumbbells for about block number three. Blocks one and three are about the same. 30 seconds for exercise three times through. Blocks two, four, and six have you holding exercises on the minute for that whole minute. Blocks five and seven, 45 seconds, two to three rounds through. We'll get there when we get there. So crew, let's talk about round one. Let's get, it, get that heart rate up. We got 30 seconds of high knees. You can march in place, give me those high knees, or run. That then takes us to butt figures and march or run in place there. From there, we got squats. The trick on these squats, we want super slow down and one big explosion up. Like you're gonna leave the ground, but you don't actually leave the ground. From there, we got pop jacks. We start in that plank position, step or hop forward into that squat and back to that plank. Again, we got 30 seconds for exercise. We're gonna do it three times through. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this ready. We got those high knees in three, Two and one. Again, we can march in those knees nice and high or run it. If you want to zip around the room, totally an option. And then try to keep those knees up that whole 30. So the thin solid crew this takes us to butt pickers for 30 in three, two, one. Hit those. Heels up to those hips. Looking solid, crew. Just gonna take us into those squats here in about 10. Again, that goal for those squats. Slow down, quick up. And three, two, one, feet shoulder width. Super slow down, like three to four counts. Explode up. And that tension on those knees points out so we don't accidentally lock those knees together. Get low, explodey without leaving that ground. And 10, we take it to pop jacks. And we got pop jacks in three, two, one plank position, step or hop forward to that squat position, and repeat. Always try to feel that core in that plank, those legs in that squat. In 15, we repeat this round two to three. Let's get back to high knees in three, two, one nice high knees. Let's drive it on out. We got 15. True. Let's get this ready. We got butt kickers in three, two, one. Give those butt kickers, heels to hips. We're looking solid. Crew, let's get this ready. We got those squats coming next. You can slow down, quick up in three, two, one. Sit down nice and slow, explode it up. Again, really focus on not actually leaving the ground, but that sensation that you're gonna to touch the sky. The lever crew in 15, we go to those pop jacks. Let's get ready. We got those pop jacks in three, two, one. Plank, squat, and repeat. Looking solid in 15. We go to round three at three. Start with those high knees.
two, let's get ready. We got high knees in three, two, one, high knees. Take it up. Whew. And that goal, let's get those knees as high as you can. Crew, let's get ready. Butt kickers last time. In two, one. Heel us the hips. Get those legs moving. Love it, crew. Just 15. Love it. Let's get ready. Last set of squats. Last minute in three, two, one. Squat. So in control down. Slow the up. Looking solid, crew. We got 15 down. 15 to go. Let's get ready for those pop jacks. We've got 30 seconds in three, two, one. Plank, that squat, that plank. Love it, 15 down, 15 to go. We get that break in three, two, one, pitch mat for you. So from here, we're gonna make a short break, 30 seconds, and then we go straight into a plank hold for the whole minute. You can be shoulders over wrists, shoulders over elbows, on toes or on knees. That goal is to hold that core the entire time. So we're gonna find that variation you know we can hold for that whole minute through. So let's get ready to take it up here in just a couple seconds. I'm going to go palms and toes in three, two, one minute plank hold. Again, squeeze that little bit in the spine, squeeze those butt cheeks, shoulders staying over those wrists or elbows. If you're on those knees, make sure you don't feel like your butt's way back there. Instead, keep those hips square to that ground. And just breathe. We're coming up on 30 down, 30 to go. Being solid here, crew, make sure that low back doesn't sink on you. Last 15. Looking good here, crew. Let's get ready for that nice little break. In three, two, one. Taking that break. Shake it on out. So this next block, 30 seconds per exercise, three times through. We start with a travel push-up. So what that looks like is we push it up. Opposite hand, opposite knee, step us to the side. So we can repeat. Again, you can always do the push-ups from the knees, or if the travel is a little too much for you, just ditch the traveling part. From there, we're gonna go into a tricep kickback. So we're gonna be in that hinge position for this, meaning tension butt back legs. Your elbows are locked in that rib cage. You press it back, slow and control, back to neutral. Notice how my elbows aren't moving on me, right? I'm just pressing back, control it down. From there, we've got that bicep curl at tempo, we drive it up, super slow on that way down. And then we got ground to press for 30, sit back and down on those hips, explode it up, control it down. Again, if overhead's too much, stop at those shoulders. So let's shake it out, get ready to take this up with that traveling push up in three, two, and one. 30 seconds here. Push it up, opposite hand, opposite foot. Move side to side. We're looking good, crew. Not bobbing the head in the push up.
We're gonna take it up to that tricep kick back in three, two, and one. We're gonna in that hip hinge position, elbows in that rib cage, power back, slow and control forward. We're getting shoulders back, and you don't feel this in that low back as that core is active. Love it, about 10 seconds to go. We've got those bicep curls in two, one, bicep curl, drive it up. Super slow, control down. We got 15 down, 15 to go. And then sack around to press. And focus on that control down to really build those biceps. Let's get ready to ground press in two, one. We sit it down, slowly up, nice and slow control all the way back down. As we finish up round one of three, we get ready to go back into those traveling push ups for round two. We got those traveling push-ups in three, two, one, traveling push-up. Core is tight, get low, side to side. Love it, 15 down, 15 to go. Two, pop it up, tricep kickbacks in two, one, hinge it back, core tight, explode it, control it. Again, feeling those triceps, catching fire. Weight seeing those heels, let's get ready for that bicep curl in two, one, drive it and control it. Looking solid here, crew. Bring that control down. Helps work those buys. In 15, we got that ground to press. Let's get this ready, ground press in two, one, sit it back, explodey, controlly. Looking good, crew. 15, we start round three, a three. Here we go down to that travel push up in three, two, one. Here we go. Travel it out. Looking good. Less than 15 to go. Here we got three, two, one. Back to those kickbacks. Again, those triceps. Should be feeling it about now. And finding that tempo on the way down. Drive it back. We got about 10 seconds and we take those biceps. In two, one, then strap it up. Super slow control down. Again, even those biceps should be feeling a little tired by now. Looking good, crew. Less than 15. Let's 
get ready for ground to press in three, two, one. Sit it back, explode high, control down. You're looking good, crew. 15. Crew, we get that nice little break in three, two, one. Take that 30 second break. At the end of that 30 second break, we're gonna sit down for a squat for an entire minute. So that goal is to try and hit that 90 with those hips. If you find that you go too far and you're not feeling those legs active, lift your hips up just slightly and you should feel those quads and glutes being reactive. Just about to mix those words together. It's gonna be a coot for a second, but tell you what, let's hit that squat in two, one, hold it that 90. We're gonna hold it for that whole minute, shoulders back, chest proud. You wiggle those toes to shift that weight back. Tension out those knees. We're looking solid here, crew. 30 down, 30 to go. Those quads should be, should be awake by now. We got just 15. Make sure you still feel those legs. Don't get too low on me. We got three, two, one. Whew, shake it out. So this next block, 45 seconds for exercise. Three times through. We start with that alternating dead bug. Those weights are optional. You just want to make sure opposite hand, opposite leg send out, drag it back up, keeping that lower back and the ground the whole time. After 45 there, we flip it over and we have bird dog for 45, pressing through that palm and that heel, control down, squeezing underneath. And halfway through, I'll tell you to switch that side, but you want to keep that core active. From there, we stand up to that walkout. From that stand, we walk it forward. Hit that point, nice tight core. Walk it back, throw those hands in the air. The last 45 are going to be burpees. Plant those hands on the ground. Step or kick those legs back. Push up is optional, as well as that step or jump forward. So, crew, let's shake it out. Get ready. 45 seconds per movement for three laps. We got dead bug in three, two, one. Let's go to that dead bug. Off the hand. Option foot, press out, squeeze back, find that control. We're looking solid, crew. We're going to get ready to flip it on over into that bird dog. Starting with that right arm, left leg. In three, two, one, bird dog. Right arm, left leg. Extend out. Squeeze underneath. Press it out. Still make sure you feel that core as we go. I like to say it's like you're absorbing a punch in the tummy as that belly button comes up to that sky. We switch sides in two, one, switch in size. We're looking good, crew. We got walkouts next. In three, two, one. Let's walk it out. Take that solid plank. Walk it back. Hands up in the air. We're looking good, crew.
In about 15, we'll get started with burpees. And let's get ready. Remember, those push ups are optional. In three, two, one, and burpee. Get that plank, drive it up, push up again is optional. Looking good here in about 15. We start round two of three for the alternated bugs. Let's get ready, alternating dead bug in three, two, and one. Keep that core nice and tight. Press and peel out as that arm goes up overhead. You're looking good, crew. About halfway through until that bird dog. Crew, let's get ready. We got that bird dog in three, two, and one. Bird dog, core is tight. Press it out. Control it under. Even if you can, try to get those elbows and knees together. We switch sides in two, one, opposite side. Looking good, crew. We got those walk ups coming next. In three, two, one, let's get that walk out. Ooh. And we're getting solid here, crew, keeping those arms moving, those shoulders should be doing something about now. Here in about 10, we're going to go into burpees for round number two. Let's get ready. We got burpees in three, two, one. Let's hit those burpees. Again, that push up, be optional. Looking good, looking good, crew. We've got about 15 to so start that third and final round. Crew, let's get it ready. We got those all tiny dead bugs in three, two, and one. Take it up, drive it out, keep that core. Nice and engaged. Low back flat on the ground. Remember, you're moving more than just one leg, one arm. Slow it down. Lock things out. We got 15 to that last bird dog. Get ready for that bird dog in two, one, bird dog. Last time here. Right arm, left leg, squeezing underneath.
Do it pretty good. Create a warrior. Switch sides. We'll keep one. Switch inside. At the end of this, we got 90 seconds of work. So walk up some burpees. Then we're going to get a nice little break. Let's get ready to get home with those walkouts in two, one. Walk it out. Take that plank. Walk it back. And in the air. Yeah. Looking solid, looking solid. Crew in about 10 seconds. We know the last 45 burpees for this block. Let's get ready to take it up in three, two, one. Last 45 seconds of burpees. Whew. We're looking solid, crew. We got about 20 seconds to go. Give me about three to five more. Almost there, crew. Keep it going in three, two, and one. Catch that breath. Shake it off. So we're gonna nice short 30 second break. We're gonna do a one minute plank hold. Now a one minute squat hold. Whew. So you can catch that breath, shake out what you need. We've done these before, so we know our options. That goal is to just give you your best hold. And then we'll go into the final block. Starting with that plank hold. Three, two, one, take it up. Squeeze that core. Again, give me toes or knees, palms or elbows. We're just gonna try to hold it. Looking solid, crew. Make sure you breathe. 30 down, about 30 to go. Looking solid. Keep those shoulders back, watch those hips from popping too high or dropping too low. We got just 15. Let's get ready to squat it in two, one. Let's hold that squat. Sit nice and low for one minute here. Then make sure you still feel those quads and you're not going too low to disengage. And they're not on those thighs. Go up over shoulders, back, chest, ground. Whew. You guys are crushing this today. We got about 30 down, about 30 to go. Good and add a little dance move in there. If you'd like, you don't so blind. We got just 15. Here we get that nice little break in three, two, one. Whew, shake it on out. So our final block, we just got two rounds of it. It's 45 seconds per movement. We start on that right side plank. Blah, right side plank fam shell. So shoulder over that um, elbow. Your ankles are together, knees are stacked. And when you drive it up, you squeeze your butt cheeks and lift up with those obliques. Control all the way down and repeat for 45. We then flip it onto our backs. Grab that dumbbell if you like it. Quick, slow up to that power setup, and then slow control back down. Good, okay, give me that full setup, give me that crunch and back down. We then have the left side 
planks with clam shells. Then we go back onto the back for that bicycle crunch. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Again, the higher you get your shoulders off the ground, the lower those heels go, the more core you activate. So if you need to relax those shoulders on the ground, keep those feet higher off the ground. So crew, let's go ahead and shake it on out. We start on that right side plank, clam shell for 45. In three, two, one. Here we go. Drive it up. Shoulder over elbow. Feel that oblique. Squeeze the butt cheeks. We're looking solid, crew. Then we're here for a full 45. Here in 15, we switch it to that power sit up. Let's go ahead and flip it around. We got that power sit up in two, one, power sit up. Exploding. Super smooth controlling. Good solid crew. Here we go. 15. We're going to switch it to that left side plank. Plank shell. In the meantime, give me that control down. Let's switch it. Left side plank. Plank shell in three, two, and one. Drive it up. Control it on down. And squeeze it at the top. Looking solid. Yes, yeah, that's true. Again, film those obliques, film those glutes. In 15, we take that bicycle crunch to the 45. Let's get ready to put it on the back, bicycle crunch in two, one, opposite elbow, opposite knee, pushing through that heel. Keeping that core nice and tight. Oh, looking solid here, crew. We got about 15, and then we go into that right side plank, clam shell for the last time. We switch it right side plank, clam shell in two, one. Let's take it up and squeeze, control it down. Looking good, crew. Then squeeze the top, control on down. And looking awesome, crew. We got about 15. Then we got that power sit up the last time through. And three, two, one, let's get that power set up. Exhale to grab it up. Nice slow. Control it down. Looking solid here, crew. And 15, we go on that left side plank, William Shell. We're going to take it up the left in two and one. Left side plank, clamshell. 
Again, we drive up, squeeze, control down. Try to feel those obliques still, best we can. We're looking solid through. We got just 15, so the bicycle crunches. The last 45 seconds of work. Let's go ahead and flip on our back. Bicycle crunch in two, one, bicycle crunch. We look in solid, we got 30 down. There you go. We're looking good. We got just ten seconds. We got just three, two. One, catch that breath, shake it out, and that's what we got for today. So thanks so much for playing, Chris.